What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today, we're going to be checking out the Multiverse official cinematic trailer, You're With Me. Now, I am pretty excited for this game. If you've never heard of it, Multiverse is basically a Smash Brothers clone. I want to say Smash Brothers clone, but let's, let's just name it that for a second so you can kind of get a glimpse of what it is in your head. It's a Smash Brothers clone but with WB characters. We're talking DC, we're talking um, Game of Thrones, we're talking Scooby-Doo, we're talking potentially Mortal Kombat, we're talking Adventure Time. It's a ton of characters they are pulling from to be in this fighting game, which I'm pretty excited about, especially because one is free to play, so I, I could try it out. It's coming out on pretty much everything, I believe. Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox, PC. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be cross-play. And the roster so far does look dope and interesting enough for me to at least want to check it out. Again, it's free to play. I think I'm going to just jump in and try it out. I wasn't a huge fan of the Nickelodeon one that came out recently. I, I wasn't a huge fan of it, of the one of the roster. And the fact there wasn't no like original voice actors tied to the games as well and stuff like that. It wasn't fitting well for me. But this looks actually up my alley as far as having that nostalgia with the voice actors and it being free to play. I might as well just jump in and try it, you know? So let's jump in and check out this cinematic trailer. The cinematic trailer is three minutes long. So let's jump in and hit play. And yes, we're gonna give this a great. We're in the bat cave out the gate. Okay. Who's, who, who just grabbed Batman like that? What's my location? Computer. That's Wonder Woman in the background. Oh, What's going on here? Shaggy? With Scooby. Oh, bugs! <laughs> and that's this girl from Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh huh. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> what I do to you? Oh shit! Super Saiyan Shaggy, let's go. <laughs> oh, Brugs. Why you had to do bugs like that, buddy? <laughs> this girl stalked jumping on a uh not cool um not cool i don't know who that is i know who that is this is from event time the dog i don't know who this is and this is taz obviously <laughs> <laughs> Harley Quinn. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. This is cool. <laughs> My guy is dancing. Oh, he turned into a car? Okay. Oh, Harley Quinn got knocked, bro. Oh, he just ate ties like that, bro. Oh, okay. She got him out. Oh, Bugs is about to crash into everybody. Yep. I don't know what's happening. Superman. Are you enjoying it, Superman? Together, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wonder Woman. Belma? Okay, Tom and Jerry, the dude from Adventure Time. I don't know what that... It looked like the uh, antler at the end. An uh, antler. Uh, uh, antler? A deer. Uh, like a green deer. So overall, great, great cinematic trailer. Definitely did a great job introducing the characters. And just by this, you kind of get the, the vibe of the game. You're going to be fighting with Warner Brother characters that are going to have weird pairings. It looks like it's going to be two on two because you see Batman and Shaggy team up against Bugs Bunny and... <laughs> <laughs> this girl from Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's just, it's hilarious. It, it kind of doesn't need to make sense, but it's so cool that they're like leaning into it. Like, yeah, 
it doesn't make sense. But you know what? Let, 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 let it let it slide. It's, we need these characters to be in here. I, I can't wait for a full, like, roster after they just, like, start like putting doper characters in here not to say that batman superman bucks bunny aren't dope but i'm pretty sure they want to diverse the roster with some insane picks that they could drop on this you know warner brothers multiverses style game they got a lot of good heavy hitters out the gate with i'm pretty sure fans of adventure time are are you know stoked to see that i don't know who this girl is where this girl's from but tasmanian devil harley quint Again, you got um Wonder Woman, even though she wasn't really featured in the trailer, she was at the end. Um, we got Tom and Jerry, Superman, Iron Giant. How is Iron Giant gonna play? Like he's huge, bro. He is huge. That's what I'm more interested about too, is to see the dynamic of how these like characters have fighting styles. Cause it, again, I, I I do know it's supposed to be like a Smash clone. So I'm not expecting too much, you know, of like Hardukin, you know, fighting game mechanic style moves and more of a, a arena fighter or, you know, a platform fighter style game here. And I think it kind of fits the bill. It does look, you know, it looks pretty good. Has it, you know, its own art style. It's not trying to be future photo realistic or follow the movies or anything or or any cartoon for that matter. It's just trying to be its own thing. And it looks pretty cool. We got an open beta. It looks like it's coming up very soon. I'm going to see if I could um, get a couple of rounds on that, do an impressions of this. But, yeah, this looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. There's no switch there, right? Oh, I'm bugging. There was no switch. Let's see. The closed alpha begins May 19th. I got to sign up to play. Let's sign up for that. Definitely going to sign up for that. PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X. Yeah, no switch. I, don't, I thought this was also coming to switch i could be wrong though yeah as far as trailer goes to, let's give it a score i think i'm gonna have to give it an eight it is a good trailer as far as describing the game the vibe of the trailer is super well done i do think it's missing the i think there were superman and iron giant teaming up where it's kind of cool but we kind of don't see them do anything that's what kind of ends on like a flat you know moment granted everything else is pretty a1 like I, I i wish there was more surprises i i wish there was different a variety of locations i think that's what's kind of dull the the fact that it's not a variety of locations and the fact that it's not even more you know on that granular level this is a dope trailer this is gonna be what it looks like to be a dope game like sh like sh you know sh like it'd be a little bit fanboying about it like you know see be you know come out and be like you know be a little rambunctious about it be like yo 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 you know what i'm saying i feel like it's missing that like it knows it's good but it's trying to keep expectations in check and I feel like, you know, for a cinematic trailer, go all out, bro. I mean, it's like they played with the line. They knew the cinematic trailer had to be cool and good and, you know, lighthearted, funny, and get fans of all of these, you know, series together. It did that, but it didn't, it didn't, it, there's no whoa moment in this. There, there's a few, but none of them are, you know, enough to raise the grade. Let me know what you think about this cinematic trailer. In the comment section below, like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, whatever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. Hit the like. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommending so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Let me know if you're going to be jumping in and trying multiverses. I know I am, especially when this game drops on PS5. Let me know if you're going to be playing it in the comments. Peace!